Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about example on bail drive and that is specially based on power transmitted and was asked in university. Now let's see first of all the given description with the help of this figure. This figure is actually not given to you in the examination but here I have shown to understand the description. A casting weight 9.81 kN hangs freely, here you can see, from a rope which makes 2 tons, here you can see, around a drum of 300 mm diameter revolving at 24 rpm. The other end of the rope is pulled by a man, that's why over here I have written that is the effort applied by the man. The coefficient of friction is 0.3. That means the coefficient of friction between belt and drum. Determine the force required by the man. Total power to raise the casting. Power supplied by the drum run by prime mover. And power supplied by man. So first of all write down the given data in the symbolic notation. Here the weight of the casting is given to you. So you can say it is T1 or you can say W that is the weight 9.81 kN. Here I have written T1 because of when you consider the pulley then the belt having one side tight side tension and second side slack side tension. And here it is weight that is actually hang over here. That's why this side having the tight side tension. That's why I have written T1 is equal to 9.81. And so that it will be your T2. Which makes 2 tons around a drum. So you can say the contact angle will be 2 tons. And you know that 1 tons that means 2 pi radian. So 2 tons that means 4 pi radian. And the drum diameter is 300 mm. So you can say D is equal to 300 mm. Next, revolving at 24 rpm. So N is equal to 24. The other end of the rope is pulled by man. Here you can see. The coefficient of friction is 0.3. So mu is equal to 0.3. Determine the force required by the man. So here I have written force required by the man. That means T2 is equal to question mark. Now again, you have the theta, so definitely you should use the equation tension ratio T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta. So put the value of mu as 0.3 and theta that is equal to 4 pi. Simplify so that you will get tension ratio. Now again, you have the T1 that is 9810. So you can put it over here. So T1 is equal to 9810, T2 as it is, is equal to this one. So now you will get T2 from this equation. So it will be 2 to 6.14 Newton. So this is your first answer. T2 that is equal to force applied by man. So here you can see the force required by the man that is equal to 2 to 6.14 Newton. So make a box. Now the second object. Here we are going to find the total power to raise the casting. And you know that the equation for the power P is equal to 2 pi and T upon 60 where T is the torque. So first you have to find the torque and so that you can find the power. So here I am going to find the torque first. And you know that torque T is equal to force into radius. So here you know that total torque required to raise the casting that is equal to T1 into radius. Now you have the T1 so put it over here 9810 Newton and you have the radius of the drum also. Here you can see the diameter is given to you 0.3 meters so the radius will be 0.3 divided by 2 that means 0.50. Simplify it so that you will get torque that is 1471.5 Newton into meter. 
Keep in mind, here the radius is in meter, that's why the unit will be Newton into meter. So now once you have the T, then definitely you can find the power that is equal to 2 pi n T upon 60. So now put the value 2 pi n is the RPM of this drum that is given to you. T is the total torque. Simplify it so that you will get the power. Again, you know that power must be in the watt. So this is your second answer, total power to raise the casting. So make a box. Now the third objective, power supplied by the drum that is run by prime mover. So very simple, you know that power P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V. And this power that is actually power supplied by the drum because of this drum that is run by the prime mover. And now you have the T1 and you have the T2. So put the value T1 and T2 both in this equation. But you don't have the velocity. But definitely you know that equation for the velocity is pi dn upon 60. Where pi is a constant, d is the diameter of the drum. And you know the diameter of the drum is 0.3 meter. N is the RPM of this drum that is also given to you 2, 4. Now you can find the power. So this will be your third answer. Power supplied by the drum that is run by prime mover. So make a box. Now the last one, power supplied by main. And that is over here. So first of all, observe carefully these two values and try to understand these two terminology. This power that is actually required to raise the casting. And this is the power supplied by the drum. So here power required to raise the casting that is this one. And some of the portion will be supported by this drum that is 3613 watt. So what will be the shortage of the power that should be supplied by the main. So here very simple power supplied by the main that will be the difference of these two. So you can say total power required to raise the casting minus power supplied by the drum. So here the total power required to raise the casting that is this one minus power supplied by the drum that is 3613. So the difference of these two value should be supplied by the main. So if you simplify then you will get the answer. So that will be the fourth answer power supplied by the main. Now again you can find the same value by the another option. So I have written over here or you know that power supplied by the main that is equal to force multiplied by the velocity. So here you have the force that is supplied by the main that is T2 and that is 2 to 6.14 and V is the velocity of the bed. And that is also you know that pi dn upon 60. So now I can put this value f main that means t2 multiplied by pi dn upon 60. So simplify it then you will get this one. So that is power supplied by the main that will be your fourth answer. So you have these two options. So here you can see both are the similar value. So you can find the power supplied by main either of these option. If you have any doubt, then write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.